Hi everyone. Happy day. Welcome to the Susan and Solas Homestead. We just want to do a quick uh, tutorial of our aquaponics park system and how it feeds other areas and to the greenhouse because we are making modification on a drip line that is fed from the pond water after it goes through the plants and the fish. One goes to the waterfall filter, one goes to the greenhouse, which we're going to show you. One goes to the highest point on our property, which is a nebula pond, which gravity feeds back. One goes to our aquaponics prototype experiment and hydroponics from the pond water. And this just circulates the water in the pond to keep good flow and healthy bacteria moving. This is the main water. It's replenished by the rain through the waterfall filter. Alright, go back here. Just to show you, all the water that's generated in the pond and captured, now it, this is going to go to the greenhouse, and this feeds our greenhouse, waters all our vegetables and plants. Eventually it'll do our outside beds too. All pipe was done with inch and a half and one inch irrigation poly pipes under the ground. In the winter time we have still green pass because it's heating up the water under the ground. It helps preserve the heat and it helps bleed it off in the summer. Welcome to our little greenhouse where we are installing our new drip line. So everything, all the piping from that one pump in the aquaponics center comes underground here and now it feeds this. This feeds the left side of our beds by opening this up through our drip lines. You can hear it coming on and or shutting it off. And the right side which goes ups and over. And we try a spiral design here, but we feel we're gonna go with the grid design because it's a lot easier for us to be planting and moving things around in the future. We also installed a valve over here that will have a hose that if we wanna spot feed some of the stuff, a pot, or something else that we're growing in here, or a large tree, we'll be able to use the pond water. And we have some fresh water here also. Eventually there'll be another connection, and then each one of these valves will feed our outside bed, which will end this little tutorial and pour with that. future videos.